So I have every appliance known to man running at the same time, but I had to call off of work today because we ordered a brand new bed and it got lost in the mail. What are you doing over there? Yeah, so both me and my husband were supposed to work today and because this bed is coming, I have to be home to receive it because I'm the one who can call off easier. So I've been desperately trying to clean the house in preparation for these furniture mover people um, and also to make way for our brand new bed. The bed that we have had or have been using has been my bed since I was single and I've had it for like a good 10 years. So kind of sad to see it go. Although we still have it, it's in the guest bedroom at the moment. But our brand new king size bed will go here. And again, I apologize for all the noise. I was thinking about making this its own video. Actually, I had already started making its own video, but this is why I've kind of been silent the past couple of weeks because I've been trying my best to get through this massive thing. But does this look familiar to you? Anybody? It's a diamond painting, but look, it's my own artwork on there. Look how cool that is. So Crafties, very nice, teamed up with me. I had made a video with them once before not all that long ago but they were very nice they sent me my own artwork to try my own diamond painting and these are for sale if you want to play with it yourself i'll post a link down below to my little crafty shop but you can do your own diamond painting of my own illustrations they're very exciting i'm almost done with this one oops there's like a random little diamond there I'm almost done with this one. I've just got a few more spots left and I'm gonna work on this until the movers get here. I keep calling the movers the furniture people. Whenever the furniture people get here, um, I also have to stop here soon and take a phone call uh, for something else entirely. But this is what has been taking up most of my time and the reason why I haven't been doing much art recently. But yeah, look how cool that is. It's pretty neat. Neither my furniture nor my telephone appointment has happened, but I did finish this. Yay! So that's all done. So I guess now what I'm going to do is I'm going to film this or we'll edit the film for this and post it to TikTok and then Instagram. But again, if you're interested in a diamond painting, I'll post the link to my stuff below. So I realized while updating my card profile for like TikTok and Instagram for my diamond paintings here, I do realize that on my Crafties website, it is a little bit misspelled. Um, and that's probably not really Crafties' fault. Um, that's probably actually my fault. In their defense, I do have my images misspelled on the original files. That was an accidental misspelling and I just never fixed it because now I remember how to find it because my files are so discombobulated and so disorganized. Uh, at least I can remember that it's misspelled that way. So I think that they just kind of accidentally took what I had already named the file and just ran with it. But um, yeah, that looks a little bit embarrassing. Speaking of card, Social media has just grown too much and there's just too many too di many different websites. It's too much to keep track of. I may have to go back to Linktree because I've run out of space on card, which is rather frustrating uh, because I can already, I can't keep up with social media as it is. And now I may have to go back and rechange all of my links for everything because I'm not upgrading or I'm not paying for an upgrade for card, even though it looks so nice. It's also so hard to change all of my links on everything. But um, speaking of new stuff and growing, so I have my diamond painting there, but also I posted about this on Twitter and Instagram already. I also have an eye canvas. So we've moved on to canvas prints, which is also pretty cool. So I've got artwork on here as well. And that link is also on my card for right now. 
So pretty neat. I'm um, excited to work with them as well. I don't really, I don't really make much money off of my art. And the only reason why I have gotten this far is because people have actually asked me for it. You know, I do still have to work for a living um, to make money, but it's just, it's just cool to have people approach me. That's something that I never would have thought would have ever have happened. But um, I do for right now still have my other prints. I still have my prints on imprint, but I may have to eventually remove those. But for now, the problem with imprint is you can't pull out money until you get to a certain amount of sales. So imprint still owes me some money or I can't pull any money out for a while. So but yeah, if anybody's interested in prints, I've, I've got quite a few available. Uh, but again, no pressure. But anyway, it's just fun to see stuff grow and fun to see my own link pages grow. Now that I'm done with my diamond painting project, I think what I want to do next is I'm just going to clear that entire table off because it is a hot mess over there. And I was thinking about, I know people like the organizational videos. I was thinking about organizing that area, but also what else I've been up to. I've made it through a majority of my Spanish book. I honestly haven't opened this in a few days because we've been distracted. But I would like to finish this book. I've been writing all of my notes in here. So yeah, that's one thing that I've been doing. Um, another thing is short-term goals. I really need to finish this sketchbook here. I only have a couple of pages left in it. And honestly, some of these already have sketches on them. I think this is the only page that doesn't have a sketch on it technically. It's just the fact that... It's hard to go backwards if if you know, you know, I guess. It's just that um, if I'm not automatically inspired by something and then I set it down, it's hard to go back to it later. Although technically there's nothing wrong with some of the drawings that are in here. In fact, there's a couple things in here that I kind of like. I'm just not, I guess, inspired by them or... I don't know so this only a couple pages left and I'm done with that and then I can do another journal like walk through like a sketchbook tour journal tour art journal tour thing you know those thingies another thing too is I am still kind of working on this is what I was doing my swatches in, in my previous videos and I'm still kind of enjoying this paper and I've still got a couple of sketches in here that I was working on. I thought that I would paint first because they were just kind of like simple, but they're nothing like magical. And this one, I don't know, this one I feel like I drew first. I'm just having some, again, it's just not feeling terribly inspirational. Like there's nothing technically like wrong with it and I'm sure it would look fine if I painted it, but it's just not like hitting me in my inspiration spot to make me want to actually draw it. So it's not that I've not been drawing. I do think what I might do next, look, I'm like bouncing between so many different sketchbooks. Is don't, don't like make fun. Don't make fun of me now. I did do some fan art. I don't know if you can see that in my light. I kind of want to paint like a human, like this is like Sailor Moon fan art. And uh, maybe I'll hate it because I'm not a human artist. So it's hard for me to draw people and I don't, it's not that I don't know how to paint them. Well, I don't know how to paint them. It's just that I'm so used to drawing animals that I have an innate sense of where um, to put the shadow and the depth on like animals. I don't really have that muscle memory to do it on people. So I kind of have like this fear. It's not even really like a fear. It's just that a uh, not a waste of time. It's not, I don't know what kind of words I want to use. It's just, I'm not adept at it. I'm not practiced enough at it. And then do I want to take the time to actually practice at it? But I think I drew this last night and I kind of actually really kind of like it. So I might try and do people, but I also kind of don't really want to ruin it or I don't want to waste time if it looks bad and then I spent all that time on it and then I have nothing to post on social media because everything is ruled by social media these days, right? I don't know. Somebody out there knows what I'm talking about and I'm just talking in circles. But that's kind of like my thought process. It's like I kind of really want to do fan art, but is it worth my time? 
but at the same time I don't really have anything else but to do because again I don't make a living off of this this is just supposed to be for fun but it's that psychological aspect of social media that kind of messes with your mind a little bit on the other hand I have a dear friend who has asked me for artwork for a while and I don't owe anybody artwork but I did tell them it's not a problem. I can I can do something for you real quick. You don't have to pay me for it. And I've not gotten to that yet either. So I'm just full of, I guess, empty promises. Anyway, I think what I'll do is I'll just try and work on this sketch and maybe try and finalize it a little bit and then take some artistic liberties. Lord, that's so much bigger. I've never had a king size bed before. It came with uh, creepy little sleep masks and some other stuff. But uh, yeah, so now the problem is, is we don't actually have any sheets that can fit this. So, but I think I'm just going to end the video right now because I am just going to chill out. I'm going to sit here. Maybe have to go out to the store to go get sheets for this thing so I can sleep on it tonight. Is it too tall for you, girl? And uh, then just relax. I'm almost finished with God of War and Harvestella on the Switch. I'm going to take a bath, and then I'm going to work the rest of the week. So, yeah. Anyways, thanks for hanging out with me. Bye-bye.